What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. It is Friday. Garage sales. There's that song Friday. I don't know how it goes, otherwise I would have sang that. Instead I just sang my own rendition. So I need to go to an ATM. Uh, yeah, ATM bank isn't open this early. I'm gonna go to an ATM, grab some cash, and uh, we're gonna go buy some stuff. That was a beautiful house. I would love to own one like that someday. Uh, spent a dollar on a bag full of Pokemon cards. And uh, of course, the old guy there had to call them Pokemon cards. In what world does an O make an A sound? I don't understand, that always bothered me when I was younger. Why do old guys always feel the need to call them Pokemon? Is it because they're trying to act cool that they're too cool for Pokemon cards? I mean, I'm too cool for Pokemon cards, but at least I know how to pronounce them. So anyways, I have no idea what's in there, but for a buck, I'm sure there's something good. I figure maybe I'll make 10, 15 on them, unless there's something really good. Nothing there. People keep driving past the house, and I think it's because most of the sale is in the closed side of the garage. There was decent stuff, just nothing for resale. It was uh, mostly like decor. By the way, in the last garage sale video, so many people said, wear your seatbelt rabbit. I typically always wear my seatbelt, but when I'm driving 10 miles an hour between two garage sales that are like six houses apart, I am not gonna bother putting my seatbelt on. This entire time you've seen me talking here, this is the whole drive and now I am parking. It does not make sense to put a seatbelt on when you're driving a block. Looks like we got two. There's one up there and one right there. So I paid a dollar on this Super Shooter cookie press. I should be able to get about 30 for it. Uh, always look for these, the Super Shooter, especially the wherever Super Shooter, the electric cookie press, because those you can get like 50 to 75 bucks. So something to look out for. Cost me a dollar. By the way, I just showed you footage from two sales, both of these sales. Holy madness. The first one, all those sports collectibles are really high. That Packers yearbook, is not worth 20. It's not worth two. They are a dime a dozen. In fact, St. Vinny's has been struggling to get rid of hundreds of them for like a dollar each. Now this was like last year. I don't know what they all ultimately did with them. I think they still have them. Uh, that is insane. Those NASCAR die casts are worth about 10 to $15. I didn't see anything special there. Just wild. An Aaron Rodgers book for eight bucks, just because it has Aaron Rodgers, maybe. Maybe you could find someone to pay five. And maybe they're hoping someone offers five, but that's still iffy. And then the second sale, there's a DVD VCR combo in the box. It says DVD still works. So I'm assuming that means the VHS side doesn't, but it was only a dollar. I thought for a buck, two reasons I would want it. Number one, the box it looks very similar to the one that I bought last week. It was a Sylvania. Uh, you know, it would be nice to have an extra box to make it easier to ship and everything. And number two, the remote is easily worth a dollar. Well, the remote I showed you on, I took a video clip of it. The remote, the little battery cover, the clip that holds it on is broken. So I really don't want to pay a dollar for the box. And then that Sony camcorder. <clears throat> Here's how this went. It was 70. I told her, would you do 20? She says, no. I said, well, you know, it's just on tape, right? It's a tape camcorder. She says, yeah, I know. She said, I looked on eBay and they're going for 70. So I, that, that's why I priced it that way. Okay, have fun. Have fun keeping your camcorder. I bet it'll be a goodwill in a week. Um, there's no way she's going to get 70 locally for it. Even I couldn't get 70 locally for it. Now, 
could probably get more than 20 locally for it. Maybe you could find someone to pay 40 if you really promote it on Craigslist, but you ain't getting 70. <clears throat> These people are nuts. All right, let's go to the next one. By the way, I forgot my notebook, so I'm using an envelope. Uh, five sales so far, I spent two bucks. What's hilarious, she had two on the cookie press and was willing to take a dollar. She had better odds of getting eBay prices on that than the camera. I think she would have had a better chance of getting 30 for the cookie press than getting 70 for the camera, to be honest. It, that's just not something that's gonna sell on a local market. So we're about a mile away now, and I saw another sign for a garage sale. These are, uh, it, it's not a poorer area, but it's definitely not as ritzy as the one I was just in. Uh, you can see these houses here. They're decent houses. This is the type of area that I love hitting. It's not poor people who don't have much, and it's not rich people who want an arm and a leg for their stuff. So a lot of people ask how I find garage sales. There's really no secret. You can use apps like Yard Sale Treasure Map or G-Sailor. And um, I don't know if they're open yet. Yeah, there's signs, but there's no one here. It could have been from last week. Anyways, you can use apps like that, but um, I don't. Uh, here's what I do. Over the course of February, March, and April, all the community sales started posting events on Facebook. And then I always, whenever I see one, I hit going because then Facebook reminds me of the event. So I use that to find the community sales. I also see a lot of them posted on Facebook Marketplace just as I'm scrolling through my feed. Uh, that's where I find most of them. Beyond that, I'm just a sign spotter. I'm just driving around looking for signs like that one. Although, as you saw right there, it doesn't always work out. Uh, but that is what I do. I know there's two community sales going on, one in Swamico and one in Pulaski this weekend. So I might head up that way. Both are kind of out of the way though. I don't know. But that's how I find garage sales. This sale was all collectibles and not good collectibles. There was like two tables full of Coca-Cola stuff, a table full of M&M stuff, two tables full of precious moments. Maybe 10 years ago, if that would have been, this would have been a home run sale. Although I didn't look at what their prices were like. Um, but not today. Also, I always find it amusing when garage sales have signs that say cash only. I think it's kind of a given. It's a garage sale. It's gonna be cash only. We got a church sale here. Didn't know this was happening today. Let's go check it out. I love watching for funny signs at churches. The uh, church that my dad's buried at has signs that say, thou shalt not park here. So nothing here. Um, they had a lot of stuff. There were a couple of rooms that uh, also had stuff in it. Nothing for resale though. Also, this church smells like my grandma's house and now I need to give her a call. So, uh, there's that. So I'm gonna do that and um, go to the next sale. So I decided to get out of this area. I'm really not finding much. Let's see what we can find up further north, maybe in Howard or Swamico. So driving up to Swamico, I see a couple of signs for sales. It looks like that's one of them. I don't know if there's more than one sale or not, but uh, let's check this one. Uh, this one doesn't look like much. Well, we're already here. Let's see what they got. Nothing at this one as I thought, but it wasn't as bad as I expected. There was decent stuff in there for someone who wants good deals on things for their house, uh, but nothing for resale. One tip that Pretty much every YouTuber who does garage sales tells you to do is ask, always ask. And as usual, I asked if she had any video game stuff. Um, what's funny is she decided to, after she said she doesn't, she said her son plays and then started singing what I'm assuming is the Mario theme song, but really, really poorly. I think that's what she was doing. Uh, anyways, so nothing there. Let's keep going. We are up north there, hey? and Swamico at the first garage sale up here. So I paid three bucks, got this Sony iPod dock and a brand new copy of Apples to Apples. Should get about 40 for them. 
maybe 50 or 60. I don't remember what I calculated. I think I figured I was getting about 15 after shipping and fees on the Apples to Apples game. And that clock rate is about 25 bucks. I also got a map of the sales here. Coincidentally, this happened to be sale number one. So, might as well start crossing them out. Looks like there's another one right up the road. So this is interesting. Not only is this garage sale not on the map, neither is this road. So this could be a good one. It might not be getting a lot of traffic. So I came up here, did one and two, and then went straight. And at the end of this road, it cuts across. Uh, it doesn't look like it cuts back to Velp, but uh, it must be a brand new road. It's not even paved yet. So I did all right at this sale. Really had to negotiate hard on a couple of things because they really didn't want to budge, but uh, spent 20 bucks. And uh, I will show you, when we get back to the warehouse, what I got, but there were some Bose speakers and a GPS and some fridge filters. I'll show you when we get to the warehouse. Off to the next one. I paid nothing at this sale. Always check the free box. Let me show you what I got. A whole bunch of sealed VHS tapes. There's gotta be eight or 10 in there. That's an easy, probably 50 bucks that I got for free. They also had a Favre autographed picture mounted on a plaque. They wanted 80 though, which is, I mean, that's what it's worth. And I've got like 20 Favre autographs, so I really don't need any more unless it's really cheap. Sometimes you can find autographs cheap. I found a Bart Starr autographed football for 20 bucks last year, I think, maybe two years ago uh, at a garage sale. That's incredibly cheap. And I found it late, too. Uh, but anyways... Oh, Saturday only. So I'm going to remember that. And that is probably going to be the first sale I hit tomorrow. Because it is Saturday only. Uh, anyways, so... They had the Favre autograph. They also had... Uh, and I always mispronounce it. Tool. Tule. Something like that. Uh, we got a little ways to go for the next sale. So I'm going to tighten the belts. Uh, they had one of those... Uh, roof rack for 275 probably no room for profit they also had one of those sony uh ipod docks that i bought for a buck at the other sale they had it for eight uh so that stuff was high yet the blank tapes were free so who knows all right let's move on to the next sale boy does this street bring back memories when i was a kid i got myself into some trouble involving fireworks uh put a crater in the road yeah, that, that was my childhood. Literally put a crater in the road. So uh, there's some really nice houses out here. There was actually a Packer player who lived right over here. And uh, he ended up leaving Green Bay afterwards. Don't know if I had anything to do with it. But uh, anyways, there's a huge congestion of sales here. We are going to hit lots of cars over here. I'm pretty sure that patch is due to my stupid self. By the way, when I did this, there were no houses around here. This was all just open fields. So, yeah, I, I was a dumb kid. But, yeah, that, that was me. All right, so I think it's time to find a new area because uh, I went to about 15 sales. That's not an exaggeration. It, it is an estimate, but about 15 sales. Every single one of them, nothing but kids' clothing. That is frustrating. You're, you're in and out of a sale in like 30 seconds. You can quickly see that it's just kids clothing but uh yeah we're gonna go to another area there was one over here that i saw on the list that did say electronics so i want to go check that one out usually i don't mind the ones that are full of kids clothing because those are the ones that a lot of the other resellers will skip and those are also the ones where you're likely holy crap that house look at that thing it's like a freaking ski lodge so anyways um Where's 17? I'm looking for number 17. Whoa! I'm looking for number 17. That guy was not paying attention when he was backing out of his driveway. So anyways, the kids sales, that's everyone skips them. So you might find some good gems that are in there. You might also find things like vintage toys, video games, stuff like that. So I don't write them off right away. Uh, but when you go to 15 straight, it, it, it gets old. There we go, 17. So I almost ran over a lady. I was going like 10 miles an hour, so I was able to stop. But uh, she thought it would be a good idea, standing behind her minivan, to run across the street without looking. I guess it's not just children that we need to teach to look both ways before crossing. All right, let's go into this one. It's supposed to have electronics. I'm excited. 
no electronics with this one. There were a couple of video games, nothing special. Uh, but it wasn't all kids' clothes. It was uh, finally a nice change. So let's find another area here. Apparently this is all families who decided they're not having children anymore. Uh, let's, let me look at the list and see if anything sounds interesting. A lady just waved to me. A complete stranger. Yeah, I'm in that type of neighborhood. I'm very uncomfortable. So this is gonna be the last one in this area. It says on the list as Xbox games. Odds are, with that being on the list, it was probably already picked up. Uh, there's two right next to each other. I might as well hit both. Well, I did something. This phone case has served its purpose. Some of the plastic has come off in different spots. Down here, the plastic is completely gone. The paint has been peeling off forever. You can see exactly where I hold it. And this top part is broken and that keeps pulling up. It was only a matter of time before that comes off. I got this for free. I found it in a pallet. I just paid two dollars for this case. It was in the package, but it doesn't look brand new. I don't know, uh, but two bucks well spent. Got myself a nice phone case now. Don't need to worry about this crap anymore. I also put it on my phone uh, before I bought it. Of course, you know, trying out the fit and everything. It did say for the iPhone 6, but I wanted to verify that, see how it fit. So I just brought the empty box up to the lady and paid her the $2 for it. And she got so confused when instantly after paying her the $2, I asked her if she would throw it away for me. Very confused. Uh, uh, she understood when I told her, oh, I already put it on my phone. Anyways, um, the next sale is going to be a little bit away. Still in the same community sale, but uh, it says preparing for retirement. So there might be some good stuff in there. Still within the community sale. This one is not a neighborhood. This is the whole village. So I think this is it right here. So I'm buying blind here. I have absolutely no signal on either of my phones, but I think I did all right. I spent 30 and I got uh, this. I'll show you this a little closer in the warehouse. Also, two more in the boxes. They are used. And then two Guitar Hero guitars. I also asked if there were any more video game stuff. It's funny because this was the sale that was, you know, getting ready for retirement. Did not expect to see video game stuff here. But if I asked if they had any more and she brought out a whole bag that she said her son was going to bring to GameStop. GameStop doesn't pay much. I offered 20 bucks for the whole bag, but if he wasn't here, so I said, you know, if you want to wait to hear from him, uh, you know, let me know. I said, I'm going to be out and about in these sales for the next couple of hours. If you hear back from him, otherwise... If it's after that, you know, we'll have to meet more in town, but uh, my offer stands. So we'll see. It was nothing too special. Again, I have no signal, so I couldn't look the stuff up. It was uh, a handful of run-of-the-mill Xbox 360 PS2 games. There were some PSP games that looked like they might be intriguing, some Dragon Ball Z ones. But again, nothing too exciting. But there were two copies of Wii Sports, which are worth about 10 bucks each. So the way I see it, I'll, make, I'll break even on the two copies of Wii Sports. And I, anything else is just profit. Always ask. So we're still pretty close to town, but there's a decent cluster of sales. Not all really close together, but there are sales way out of town on this map. And I know a lot of people, given there's like 140 sales today, just in this community sale, a lot of people aren't going to make it up there. So I figure there might be some decent stuff up there it's noon now so we're getting pretty late so i'm gonna run up there and see what i can find okay so i had one of the gps that i was heading to but i just drove past the sign and said hoarder sale and that's exactly what i want to see so nothing too interesting there they had kind of high prices for example an old tube tv for 15 was 20 now marked down to 15 but i happened to go across the street to a sale and it was actually a client from my uh, brick and mortar side of the business. So it was kind of amusing. So anyways, let's get back to, let's get back on track and try and get to the sales that are further out of the way. Oh, the hoarder sale also had one of those futons. You know the click clack ones you get at Walmart for like a hundred bucks? They had one all stained up with a cigarette hole in it for uh, 65. 
I suppose hoarders don't like getting rid of their stuff. Maybe that would have been a sign not to come to this one. Anyways, that, that's what I've got for now. I wish I got it in time. I drove past it, but I was already passing it by the time I noticed it, so I couldn't film it. But to give you an idea of the area I'm in, I just saw a big flock of sheep back there. So, definitely out in the country now. So in a lot of my videos, I intend to call out someone who makes a dumb comment. Uh, I have a very low tolerance for dumb comments. No, don't get me wrong. I appreciate, I don't want you to think by doing this that I don't appreciate my viewers and people who comment. I really do. Uh, and the reason I do these videos is because of you guys. Trust me. My girlfriend would much prefer that I spend time with her after work instead of sitting on the couch editing a video. I, this is for you. I appreciate every single one of you, but dumb comments need to be called out. I'm not talking about dumb questions. I'm not talking about how do I ship something. Everyone starts somewhere. There are, there's no such thing as dumb questions with regards to that. Everybody starts somewhere, and whenever we start, we don't know how to ship something, or we don't know basic things about the business. I have no problem with those comments. It's the dumb ones that annoy me. Let me show you a comment. Yesterday, or this morning actually, I posted a video that was, let me get the exact title so I'm not misquoted here. The title is, he sold this clickbait on eBay for how much? That's the last video. It's not the last video that you're seeing because the one that we're doing right here right now is actually being filmed when this was the last video. Uh, somebody commented, anytime you put the word clickbait in your videos, I vote them down. I refuse to watch them. I report your videos for inappropriate content. Uh, you need to understand how much people hate clickbait titles and clickbait ads. If you continue to post clickbait like this or clickbait, I'm going to unsub. I'm tired of your ignorance. Well, Charlie, um, I don't think you understand how clickbait works. Having the word clickbait in a title does not make it clickbait. Clickbait is a title that may not be quite truthful or might be overly sensationalized to try and bait people into clicking. Nobody sees, oh, that says clickbait. I need to see what it is. No, clickbait is like, you know that thing that you've been doing every day for the, your entire life? It's actually gonna kill you. Click here to find out more. That is clickbait. Simply having the word clickbait in it, that's not how clickbait works. So um, yeah, whenever I put the word clickbait in a title, that's me making fun of people who do clickbait titles because I agree, clickbait is annoying and dumb. So, Charlie, learn what clickbait means. That's the kind of dumb comments that uh, I like to call out. So if you have any dumb questions that aren't actually that type of dumb, but simply you're new and don't know how the business works, I'm happy to answer them. I don't want you to feel discouraged in commenting. If you notice, I never make fun of people who ask questions like that because, like I said, we all start somewhere. We're not experts in this business from day one, and everyone start has those dumb questions when starting out. Those are fine, I'm happy to help, I'm happy to answer them, but uh, th this other one is, no. no. All right, that's the end of my rant. I stopped at a gas station to use the bathroom, and for some reason someone was brushing their teeth in there, which was weird. Uh, let's go to the next sale. We're at sale number 81. There's like nobody here, so that's a good sign. Oh boy, this one's gonna be a walk. I could probably just pull into their driveway, but I always feel weird about pulling into driveways at garage sales. Unless they have a sign that says you can pull in, I don't feel comfortable doing it. This is the type of driveway where you would get in your car and drive to go get the mail. Now, I do the same thing with my driveways, like a fraction of this. They have their own lake. All that walking just for a bunch of tables of kids clothes. Uh, but seriously, they have a massive piece of property here. I don't know how far back it goes, but they have their own lake. How cool is that? It has a dock on it. I don't know why, because it is still a little small to be putting a boat on it, but it's still their own lake. How, I just think that's awesome. All right, so all that walking, I'm exhausted. There's the sail. I'm gonna drive to that one. And for everyone that says I should wear my seatbelt, this is why I don't. Let me show you.
and we're here. I suppose I can put it in park. Don't really need a seatbelt for that. Oh, big score. Sales like this are why I love garage sales. I'm not gonna show you it or tell you what I'm making on it because there's a whole bunch of people around. And uh, well, I got it so cheap, I feel like I practically stole it. And I just paid asking price. I don't think I negotiated it at all. Well, kind of. There were a couple things that weren't priced that I made offers, but the stuff that was priced, holy crap. Uh, so I will show you that when we get to the warehouse. So that was supposed to be the last sale, but um, yeah, do I end on a high note or do I let her ride? I'm gonna let her ride. When I was in the car business, I sold cars before I was, uh, and, I had a management position in the car business doing marketing, but I started out selling cars there and they always said, the best time to sell a car is right after you just sold a car. Your confidence is up, you're in a good mood, you're excited. That is when you're most likely to sell a car. That's why if you sell a car towards the end of your shift, you should stay later in, in the day. And uh, that's kind of my mentality with everything. I have a huge score at a garage sale, even if I'm planning on calling it a day, unless I have a darn good reason, you know, like I'm getting married in an hour, in an hour and even then I'm iffy, uh, I'm gonna keep garage sailing. Okay, now I am uh, not doing 10 miles an hour. The only reason my seatbelt isn't on is because, oh, oh, I got it. Hold on, I can keep talking, I can keep rambling. Uh, so anyways, really good video game score. Probably a couple hundred dollars. I, it's been a while since I've sold these, so I don't even know what they go for, but I know I am gonna destroy it. There was also a bunch of games I didn't even look at. I just bought them. So here's what I don't get. I am at this one here, and if we go to 131, uh, let's see, where is it? Right here, canceled. So if you can print canceled on the list, why can't you just, take it off the map and before you say they finished the map before it was canceled it's on the map too so we are way out of the way now driving along the interstate gotta get up to highway speed on the frontage road no I'm kidding um, anyways we're gonna try and hit these sales these outlying ones because these I don't think are getting a lot of action considering there's a lot of sales. I went to one that was 164, so there's gotta be over 100, at least 164 sales. So, you know, I'm gonna wait till I'm not driving to pull out that sheet and look at it, but I'll tell you right now. There are 167 total sales here, not including the three that were canceled. So anyways, there's uh, a lot of sales. I am thinking that a lot of people aren't gonna get to these ones that are really far out, unless they live out here. So, case in point, that last one, I destroyed it. There's only like five items I bought. So evidently, I'm not even in Brown County anymore because I just drove past a sign over there on a cross street that said, entering Brown County. That's how far away I am. Yeah, outside of the county. I already hate it. It looks like all toys. Another house with a private lake. So I just had a realization and I wanted to show you something. Uh, this is where I am. Look how far apart these are. These are the ones, this is the one where I had the big score. Now I'm out here. Brown Road, I just realized, that's Brown Road because that's the edge of Brown County. I was driving along here and now I'm down here. We've got this one yet to hit and we've pretty much covered that whole corner. Uh, for reference, this is where I started. You know, living out in the country has always intrigued me simply because of the price of land. You can get so much of it. Uh, they have a lake. They have a full basketball court and a tennis court on their property. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six stalls worth of garages. Uh, three stalls attached, three stalls detached. But then you have the deal. I don't like driving far. Uh, my first apartment was literally right across the street from a gas station. It was right next door to Lambeau Field. I could use the Wi-Fi from Lambeau Field in my apartment. That's how close it was. Uh, if you ever look at pictures of Lambeau Field aerial shots, you will see my apartment. Uh, that is what I like, right across the street from a gas station. I have like a two minute drive to a gas station and that's still too far for me. So I couldn't do it as cool as it would be. Perfect situation for me would be like where our first sales were, the very first ones. There was space, there was land, but you're like a two minute drive to a grocery store. That wouldn't be too bad. By the way, nothing at that last sale. There was um, 
a fish finder there. It looks like a pretty nice one. I don't know fish finders, but I know they can have a lot of value. There was no price on it. I thought, you know, I have no signal out here, so I thought if I can get it for five or 10 bucks, I'll take a gamble on it because I just sold a, an older one with no attachments for 40. So if I get it for five or 10, I asked how much it was. She went and got her husband because he knew the price. And I think this is my road, yes. And uh, he came out, yeah, it's 150. Um, I, I, had, I have no doubt that that's the value. And he was really trying to sell me. I said, you know, that's a Cadillac when I'm just looking for like a, a, a bicycle. Screw it, I'm driving up to this one. Now we are going way out yonder. See, what we've been doing so far has basically been following the freeway up. Now we're gonna stay just as far north, but go west. And there is nothing out there. So I'm gonna hit a gas station up here and we're driving near it so I can get a beverage. And uh, the reason is because there is nothing that way. It's all houses and farms and the reforestation camp and all that stuff. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So the plan was just a bathroom break and a beverage, but as I came out of the bathroom, I heard, John, come here. And I looked and I didn't see anyone. And I heard, John, over here. And then I saw this and it was calling my name and I had to get it, it is delicious. All right, we are at 77, which is way out here. We were just over here. That's where the last sale, or that one was the last sale. So now we're way out here, we're gonna get this cluster. She was nice. I bought a hiking GPS at this sale, which I'll show you when we get to the warehouse. But uh, as I was pulling out, she ran down the driveway to make sure I got the little book with it. I did, it was sitting next to it, but it was nice of her to uh, run down and make sure I got that. This is not where I'm supposed to go. I am very turned around right now. I think I can get out this way. So I think I found where Walter and Jesse are cooking. I'm not quite sure what they're cooking. I hear it's highly addictive, so it's probably like cheeseburgers or something. Oh, I could really go for a cheeseburger. I hear the first one's free. Maybe I should go check it out. So I am certainly not in the middle of nowhere, yet both my Sprint and my Verizon phones have no signal. That is really annoying. There's supposed to be another sale right over here. Why don't I see it? Uh, I could not live out here. Like, how could you live in a place with no cell signal at all? So at that sale, I got a few things I need to add them to my list. I thought there was another DS. I opened a DS case and in it was, there was some weight to it. In it was the manuals for a DS. Turns out they just sold the DS and the person just forgot the manuals. I almost bought a flat screen TV at this sale. And by that, I mean, I almost knocked over a flat screen TV at this sale. I'm trying to pull the cords out from this VCR. Um, so found a couple of items here. So I finally got a cell signal and was able to look something up from the last sale that looks like it should be a home run. So I'm gonna go back over there. Weird, it's only 2.30, it's exactly 2.30. It's only 2.30 and this one is not open and it doesn't say it was canceled on the map. So I wonder if they closed really early or if they um, just canceled after that was all printed. I know a lot of you might think 2.30 that, that's the end of the day. When I lived in Charlotte, seriously, garage sales were done by like 11 a.m. for some reason. Around here, garage sales are like eight to five on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, sometimes Wednesday and Sunday too. People are serious about it here. So it's weird to see them close up shop this early. But we are also really far out. I can't imagine they're getting a lot of traffic here. It's like the morning dew on a summer day. The sound of the waves on a Palm Beach. It's simply church, pulp free. So those uh, beverage commercials, like simply apple, simply orange, apparently they, they make churches now. I wonder how it tastes. I do like simply orange. It's probably my favorite orange juice. Found another sale that's not on the list. So as it turns out, that was also one of my clients, Small World. Um, I spent like an hour in there chatting and the sales are just about done. According to the map, they close at four, which is half an hour from now. So I'm only gonna hit a couple more over here and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. So this sale, I guess, closed up early over here. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna be closing up shop. I think we're about done for the day. So 
Uh, let's head back to the warehouse and I'll show you all the cool stuff I got. So this is the second time I said I was done for the day and had a huge score. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I got yet. I'll give you a hint. I bought basically the same thing about two years ago at a garage sale for 75 bucks and I thought it was an amazing deal. I paid 10 at this sale. Alright, um, looks like we've got another sale heading back into town. I don't know, I'm not going to say this is the last one. Maybe there'll be more, maybe there won't. You'll see. So here is all of my purchases. I went to a total of 44 sales and I spent $137. I bought from 12 of those sales, 12 of 44. But take a look at this sheet. Look at how many were left. Only the ones with the X's I went to. There were so many left. There's another page here. Went to a lot of them on this page. There were a lot left that I did not hit. All right, let's start going through it. This sale, I got these two Guitar Hero guitars, along with some other items. I spent a total of 30 bucks. Uh, they wanted five each for these. I ended up paying, I think, about half what they were asking on everything. Uh, guitar Hero guitars, if you're not new to reselling, these can be worth a lot of money. These two Xbox ones, I should get about 60 and maybe about 40 for these two. So a quick and easy 100 bucks. You do need... Um, on this one, I think you can test just on your computer. This one, you'll need a uh, receiver to test. Uh, otherwise, you'd always test it on an Xbox 360. At that same sale, remember I spent 30 bucks. I found all three of these. They wanted 15 each for those, and this was in a box without a price. Um, these, they're not new. This one might be, I didn't even look that closely. I'm assuming it's not, because this one is not new. I had no signal, so I have no idea what these are worth but I guarantee you they're worth more than I paid. This was a late sale. I can't believe this stuff was still out. It was probably about 2.30. I spent a total of 25 bucks on all of this stuff. For starters, a bunch of games. I don't think there's a lot of value in these games. Uh, the big value was this one. Should get about, I don't know, 15 or so. And I paid five for all of the games. Moving on, this is my favorite part. This stuff, I paid 15 for this case. We've got a DSi, uh, no game in it. We've got a Game Boy Advance SP with uh, Miss Pac-Man in it. The game probably isn't worth much, but this is an easy 40, 50 bucks. And we've got a DS Lite with a loose hinge, but should still get a little money for it if it works. And then all these games, I didn't even look to see what I had in here. Let me glance through and see if there's anything noteworthy. It looks like pretty run-of-the-mill games. Garfield. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing too special in here, but still a whole bunch of games. I should be able to get 50 cents to a dollar each in a bulk lot on eBay. And lastly, at that sale, for another $5, I got a silver PS2. It does not have the controller, but I've got those laying around. Should get at least 50 for this. Moving on here, let's start with this. You know, I had no cell signal most of this sale. This is a Garmin uh, fitness tracker. I figure, I've sold these as high as 70 before. I don't know if it was the same one. Uh, let me pull out my phone with my fancy new case and try it out. Or look it up. All right, pulling up sold listings. It is uh, 20, 30 bucks. Brand new. Was, oh, that's pre owned with the box 50. Yeah, I think I'll do all right with that. I got that. Additionally, two Furbies. This one's still kind of on. I think he's dying. And I paid five bucks for all of them. So for 15, they wanted 20. You know, Furby over here keeps trying to talk to me. Look at that. That's maybe why they were selling it. Uh, so anyways, for 15, I get this hiking GPS made by Garmin. I'm holding it upside down. I've never seen one this big. So uh, it's got the book, some paperwork here. It's even got a case for it. I think there's something in here. 
Feels like there's something in here. Uh, rain cover, I guess. Uh, and then we've got the cords and everything. So I paid 15. I'm sure it's worth some decent money. Let's look that one up. It is going to be Garmin GPS map. Whoa. GPS map. I'm terrible at typing on these. Uh, 76. Uh, yeah, it looks like I was probably wise in spending 15 on this. Sold listings, 144, 119, 99, 70, 76. Those are for parts. Um, 84. So yeah, I'm probably going to, with the book, the case and everything, I'm going to price this at 125 and take any offer north of 100. Uh, so good spend on 15. I already showed you this, spent five on it. I think you saw the rest of this stuff in here. So moving on to the next. I got three of these office phones for a total of $4. They do have uh, power cables. Uh, these are good phones. I don't know what they're worth, but I've sold this type, the RCA Vices, Vices, however you pronounce it. I've gotten like 60 bucks each for these in the past. I forgot with the Furbies and the GP, the Garmin watch, I spent a total of five. I also got these Harley Davidson shoes in the box. I don't know if they're going to sell. They are a little worn. The only place it says Harley Davidson is on the buckle, but uh, they were originally asking two bucks. I'm pretty confident that I'm at least going to get something for them. Original price of 50 and that was in 2007. So you never know. I got these along with the two Furbies and the, uh, what else? Then the Garmin wristwatch for five. All right, here was a good one. This was the sale that had a road that wasn't even on the map. I spent 20 on all of this. Uh, I got five refrigerator filters. Uh, they were originally asking five for this. I ended up getting it for two. I don't know if these are going to be selling for a lot or a little, but I've sold this off-brand brand before. Uh, for eight, I got this Sony GPS in the box. I didn't realize Sony even made GPS's, uh, but we've got the Sony GPS and then the mount, the cords and everything. Uh, I looked it up. If I remember right, it was going for like 70, somewhere in that range, um, but I don't remember precisely. Uh, paid eight for that. And lastly, they were originally asking 25 on these. I got them for 10. Bose computer speakers uh, comes with the cord. Oh, there goes that. It was with the power cord and looks like an auxiliary cable or something. Um, so, should be, I've sold these for as much as 100. I didn't look up this exact model, but these Bose Companion speakers, I've gotten 100 for them in the past. For a total of $5, I got this Motorola surfboard modem. Uh, these, it is used. These uh, typically go 25 to 50. I think this model is going to be in the 25 range. And I got a VCR with the remote. It's Magnavox. I don't know if it's going to go for much. Maybe I can get 30 bucks for it. Paid five for both of these. Now, every time I talk about modems, people always say, why would you buy one? Why would anyone buy one? You get them for free from the cable company. No, you don't. Uh, when you get internet through the cable company, you're paying seven to $10 a month to rent these. And if you do not own your modem, you should look at your bill because you're probably paying seven to $10 a month to rent them. When you can buy one on eBay for like 40 bucks used, of course, you can even buy them new for a hundred if you go to the store or something, but you can buy them cheap and no longer have to rent it. If you're paying, the cheapest I've ever seen was about $7 a month. If you're paying $7 a month and you can find one for 25 bucks on eBay, which is about what I expect to sell this for, uh, you're saving, Oh, let's see, in three and a half months, this, this is paid for. And beyond that, it's all savings. So definitely look into buying these if you don't. But that is why these sell, because they do not come free from the cable company. You have to rent them. Just make sure uh, that these numbers here, uh, before you buy one, you should be able to see this on the eBay listing, uh, serial number, MAC address, something. Uh, call your cable company. Make sure they'll let you use that, because some cable companies will not let you use certain modems. AT&T will not, I'm pretty sure AT&T isn't going to let you use this, but Time Warner will, and I think Comcast will. Um, but definitely you want to call them in advance to make sure you can use it. Now lastly, don't mind the giant Toys R Us sign. I put that there to get out of the way. I need to hang in the warehouse. Uh, but lastly, 
this, look at this, $20 price tag on this Bose. It was set up just like this. You could see, well, almost like this. This is how it was set up. You could clearly see it was Bose. I recognized it right away, a $20 price tag. This was at almost 4 p.m. and it still had this out at $20. I got it for 10. It comes with two remotes. These remotes should be between 30 and $50 each. I would have bought both the remote side unseen for 10. Uh, an exciting part is, so I've got a Bose system and my remote is the same remote. This little tab broke off so it won't stay on. And when a local pawn shop closed, the manager had one, of the, they had one of these for sale. The manager let me take the battery cover for free to put on my remote, uh, but it's black, whereas this one's gray. So it's a little off color. I am going to take that battery cover home and then put the black one on here. So anyways, two remotes. Uh, a friend of mine was looking at this. He told me this cord is proprietary. You need it to use this and it sells between 30 and $50. Uh, that could be a good part. And then we've got the two speakers the receiver and the subwoofer. I'm probably going to piece this out on eBay. Um, I, did, I haven't looked it up, but I should, I would imagine I'll probably get about 300 for this setup, selling it piece by piece. Additionally, I'm going to do some research because I have a Bose system at home. And if this one is better than mine, if it sounds better, I might keep this one and sell mine instead. So we'll, we'll play that by ear. Uh, but this is a heck of a find and it was still sitting right in the middle of everything. It wasn't hiding or anything at 4 p.m. So for those of you who say, oh, it's too late in the day, all the good stuff is taken, and you don't go to the sales, that's a great reason why you should go to the sales. All the video games, too, for $5 each, the DS, the SP, those were at like 2.30-ish um, late in the day as well. Oh, I got one more find I forgot to show you. This was the one that I went back to the sale to buy. Uh, this company, Nishi, or Nish, or what have you, I guess they don't sell them in the U.S. anymore. You have to get them in Canada. That's what she said. Uh, these are, from what I gather, you have a purse, and these will actually go around the purse so you can have a different design. Uh, so you need to have the actual purse to use that. Uh, there were a whole bunch of them. They're all brand new. A whole bunch of them, different styles. And then underneath them, we've got, I don't know, is this a tablet case? Uh, these wrap around purses, a whole bunch of those. And then some wallets down here. All of this stuff is brand new. Although these I may sell as used because I don't, there's no tags or anything. I haven't decided yet. All this stuff was brand new. I paid 15 for all of it. Uh, when I finally got a signal, I was able to look these up. And some of these little wallets are selling for 15 to $20 alone, used. So maybe I can get 15, 20, 30 bucks each for these, especially apparently they're not selling them in the US anymore, Canada only. So uh, maybe I can get even more. So I think this is gonna be a great find. I don't normally buy this type of stuff, but uh, I think it was a good gamble. That's why she said there were some scarves and whatnot. I mean, 15 for all of it. I think it was an excellent purchase. And then the blank tapes also that you saw earlier that were in the free box. So that was today's finds. It is almost five o'clock. I'm gonna try and get some of this listed today. Uh, we got more garage sales tomorrow. It uh, is the start of the summer of working Saturdays because of garage sales. But garage sales are fun anyways. So um, I'm gonna show you some orders that sold and we're gonna get those shipped out and that's gonna be about it for today. I have a feeling this is gonna be a really long video. All right, slow day, only three sales today and not for a lot of money. I got $28.99 for, I'm pretty sure it's this barcode scanner. Yeah, $28.99 for this barcode scanner, no cord. All right, I'm looking for four. Uh, that's not it. There we go. I say four. I got 18 bucks for these. These are for microphones, a transmitter, and a receiver. For $13.99, I sold this kid's shirt. I think that might even be retail. I'd have to check. That is, in fact, retail. 14 bucks. I got $13.99. Uh, and this was on the Target pouch, so I paid 50 cents for it. This is going to ship like no one's business. It's going to be like 270 
And nine dollars and some change later, they are all shipped out. So that's it for today. I am exhausted. Garage sales take a lot out of me. It's fun, but it's exhausting. So I am gonna call it a day. It's a little early, 541. Usually I'm here till about 637, but I did start earlier for the sales. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to like the video and subscribe. Definitely appreciate it. See you tomorrow. All right, now I can finally have a matching back. And then I'll just sell this one with the black one.